back at it again with another live. So this is the, this is me tell, um, giving you the philosophy how to expand and build upon your creativity, imagination, and innovation. Everything is created twice. First in the mind, then it becomes reality. Whatever the mind a man can conceive and believe it can achieve. So you go, so you go out there day after day to do the work. The confidence to put yourself out there boldly, and authentically, even though the success, the creation. Hasn't arrived just yet, but you have this personal initiative because you know that the richest place on earth, the richest real estate on earth is the graveyard where dreams and goals and everything else die along with you because you did not have the courage, the boldness to pursue it. But that's all going to change because you have this go-getter energy to make things happen instead of waiting for things to happen. This is the method, the philosophy known as create like a God. To uh, be in the image of God and allow the God, the inner God within you, which is the image of God, your fullest creative potential. This is your man, Jaron Mitchell, a.k.a. Jaron Winning Mitchell. And today, again, I would like to say I'm giving you guys a no defeat, the no defeat philosophy. Defeat is a state of mind unless you accept it as your reality. So I'm reading this book called The Positive Positive the 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 power of positive thinking. That book mo- mostly uses Christianity, the with from the Bible, Christian quotes and stuff like that. There's a, a lot of stuff that I realize about using quotes and stuff from the Bible or verses and stuff from the Bible with people depending on how the person mindset is, how their mind is, they're not going to be open to different things. They're going to see what they see and justify whatever they see within the Bible just because you know what the subconscious mind does not care what is true or false and does not and does not really care and will bro what is you doing man what is you doing 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 and so I want to talk about that and give you guys this mindset that the no defeat philosophy don't believe in defeat do not let per- defeat permeate within your mind do not accept defeat. Defeat is only accepted in your reality when you, your, your conscious mind, when you have these thoughts, these type of words that you're saying, the type of spells that you're putting on yourself, you know, the type of curses you can say that you're telling yourself. You yourself is holding yourself back. You know, we, we, the, the, the thoughts that we think, the people who transfer their fear and thoughts into you, the, think, the thoughts that you think, dominating thoughts, permanently in your mind, planting the seeds, which you got to pull out those weeds out of your mind so that way you can plant good things, good so uh, good seeds and fertile soil within the mind and having having other people around you, you being the seed and other people being a soil. You know, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with, who you surround yourself with. You know, what, what type of words are you saying? Are you saying, I can't do this? I can't do that. I, I, I don't know how to make money. I don't have the money. Uh, I can't make the money. I can't do it. Take, take away... Take away the uh, T from can't, and you have you have can. You know I can do it. You know so don't don't do not accept defeat in your reality. Look look, think think about the words that you're saying to yourself. You know think about the words, thoughts, and everything that you're saying because thoughts become things. You know you're thinking you you thought things before you even took the actions. You know you think about it and the permanence in your mind and that thoughts leads to actions, and that actions leads into manifesting into reality because you've been thinking it. You know, we, we're, we're powerful beings, man. We're powerful human beings. Our thoughts can become things. And many of you probably don't believe in the law of attraction. The law of attraction is real. You know, it, it also has a law of attraction. It has um, action in that word, which you guys look at. It's action. You got to take action. The law of action. First, you got to know the vibrations, but uh, vibrations of what you're saying to yourself, changing your vibration. Everything in the universe is moving at a certain frequency. So you got to change your vibration, but make sure you do not accept defeat as your reality. You know, affirmations, put in affirmations in that book, The Power of Positive Thinking. He used mostly Bible, Bible verses. You know, if you're a Christian or if you're a Christian, you can use Bible verses, you know, use Bible verses. You no, know, they have one at the, the was it the, I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know, you can go ahead and do that. You can go ahead and put that into your subconscious mind. You know, our subconscious mind is like, it's like the radio waves. It's like, it's like, you know, you know how the radio, you know how radio works, right? When you, you, you could be so far away, you don't even see it. 
you don't even see it. You know, you don't even see the waves coming in, but it's like radio waves that comes in. You can listen to the radio and see it and everything like that. It's the same thing how universe works and everything like that. You know, you got to... You got to take control, take full, full, full possession of your own mind. If you don't do it, someone else will. Do not accept defeat in your reality. If you do, you are defeated. Failure is a learning lesson. Defeat is you're holding yourself back. You put a own limitation on yourself. You are on your own you're holding yourself back. And that's the whole philosophy of create like a God. It's eliminating those limited beliefs. Eliminating all those so you can reach your full potential and be in God's image. And if you got under wonder, wonder, understand, like, Jan, what you mean by that? What you mean? Hey, read the book Out When the Devil by Napoleon Hill. Read that book. Read that book. Listen to that book. The devil, quote, unquote, inter, um, well, Napoleon Hill, quote, unquote, interviews the devil. And the devil say he controls 98 of the uh, population. And 98 of the human population, his, his, his enemies are the philosophers, the thinkers. And he talks about how taking full possession of your mind. Uh, people who take, it's like a little, like how to outwit them. Uh, taking full possession of your own mind, okay? And he cannot connect with his opposition, supposedly, because they're weak. You got to, do not accept defeat. Do not accept defeat in your own mind. Oh, my notifications popping up on my damn phone. Do not accept de defeat on my, uh, <laughs> do not accept defeat as your reality. Take full possession of your own mind. Put in, when you first, when you wake up, you got, you first wake up in the morning before you go to sleep, direct your uh, direct your subconscious mind. No, no matter if you're a Christian, Muslim, no, it don't matter what it is, man. Direct it. Control it. Control your mind. Do not accept defeat. You know, there's many times in my life I almost uh, accept defeat. Uh, and, and there was something in me that 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 was. I don't, I don't know. I can't. I mean, I, I think I can explain it now, but there's something in me that. Later years, I went through a lot of stuff, going through a little, I guess, mental depression and, and, and wondering why things ain't working, wondering no matter what I do is because I almost said, I almost said defeat. I almost did. But something was telling me, something told me like, hey, Jared, everything will work out. Keep going. Keep pushing. And I kept pushing. You know, I kept pushing. I couldn't explain it. Like something was in me that that I couldn't give up. I couldn't accept defeat and picked up thinking, I found about thinking about rich, picked up that book. And that was the answer. And ever since I've been on this journey, I've been through many, many temporary defeats. And according to Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill, he said, before arriving, before, before your death, you'll, met, you'll be met with more um, temporary defeat before arriving. Okay? Before you're arriving. What it is, is you're building your, you're going through all this um, defeat. You're going through all this failure. The universe, God is testing you, testing your faith. You know, you got to have faith. You got to believe in yourself. You know? And not even if you believe, if you're a Christian, it don't even matter. If you believe in God, man, believe. I believe that God has your back. If you're a Christian, you know, there's, like I said before, use that, use that Bible. I don't know what, what, um, what verse, I think it's in Mark. I don't know what, it, um, you can use that. Use it directly, control it in your subconscious mind. Say, um, I could do all things, I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You can use that. You know, you're, you're directing your subconscious mind, man. We have a unique we have a unique ability, man. Every single human being, which I'm reading this book. Well, I was, I haven't finished it, yo, because I was reading too many books, damn good books. So now I'm just deciding, okay, let me just read one at a time. I won't be all over the place. But in the book, Limitless, every single human being has their own unique brain. Okay, we have our own brain, our own like finger, you know, with the DNA. We got our own, we, every freaking person on this planet is unique. You know, so... Like, you're a unique being, man. Like, take, go ahead and take full possession of your own mind. If you do not do it, as you can see what's going on in the, new, uh, uh, in the world right now, the news putting all this bullshit on, bullshit on the news, they ain't, they the one that's controlling you. They the one that's programming you. Don't, don't follow that shit. Don't follow the news. Don't, don't, they, 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 there, they there to get views and make money. They're not here to help you. They're not here to give you, give you the right fucking news. They're here to get you, get you in fear and, and program you and, and, and you and you be in fear. You will be in control. You do not be if you do not control, like I said, if you do not control your subconscious mind, someone else will. Control and direct it. The music you listen to, the people you surround yourself with. Surround yourself with people that want to see you fucking win. Okay? That's why I named my LLC Winning Mitchell. Because I feel this this burning desire to fucking win, man. 
Not just in my career, but fucking life. I want to win at life. You know, I want to live. I, I want to win in my career. I want to win at at raising my kids, building a family, helping other people, charities. You know, I want to fucking win. But you know what? You know what's the price of winning? You're going to have to deal with a lot of fucking L's. You're going to deal with a lot of losses, a lot of temporary defeats. You're going to deal with a lot of that. What is y'all doing, man? Move, go ahead, move. Y'all going to deal with a lot of that. You know, Kobe Bryant, like I said before, he fell. You know, he, he got so many missed shots in the NBA. We don't talk about that. We talk about his greatness. Thomas Edison, 10,000 ways it did not work to him to perfect the electric light bulb. Okay? So... You're gonna to have to take a lot of L's. You're gonna to have to test. You're gonna to have to do something. And also, and also, if you want to win, surround yourself with people that want to see you win. Surround yourself with people that have what you want. And be careful who you take your advice from. Okay. Like for instance, I love my family. I love my parents. I love them, but they cannot tell me how to become a millionaire. They cannot tell me how to become a billionaire. They can't tell me that because they haven't got the money. They haven't got it. So I have to go to somebody else that got the results, that has the life that I want. And the same thing with the same thing with art as well. You know, I was told, you know, I was told as an artist, you know, if you draw out of your head, you become a great artist. But me being surrounding myself with artists, they say draw from reference, draw from reference, draw from reference. And it takes time to actually draw from your out of your head. First, you gotta know the foundations. You gotta have to draw. You gotta have to learn the foundations, learn the circles, learn the shapes, and later on when you built it, you able to able to draw out of your head because you've done it so many times it can become repetition, becomes deep in your subconscious mind, and you're able to draw out of your head. So yeah, man, like do not accept defeat. If you accept defeat, you lost. If you accept defeat, you lose. Okay, that's do not do not accept defeat. Defeat is a state of mind. I'm gonna keep saying, I'll keep repeating myself. Defeat is a state of mind unless you accept in your reality. Have the no, no, I, I don't believe in defeat attitude. Okay, I believe I'm gonna win and control it. If you're over here thinking, which I, I've been through it, I've been through how I'm gonna make, how I'm gonna pay my bills, how I'm gonna do this, how I'm gonna do that. You're, you're focusing, your mind can focus at one thing at a time. So when you're focusing on, on the scarcity of the worry, of the anxiety, you're going to get more of that. If you're focused on the good things, it's going to be difficult. It's hard, but you got to direct your mind. If you focus on the good things, you know, oh, yeah, I, I, I'm going to close this deal. I'm going to make I'm going to make some sales today. I'm going to make some money today. Keep repeating it over and over and over and over and over and over again. It becomes your dominant thoughts of your mind and becomes part. And sooner or later, it becomes a part of who you are. OK, and people don't direct it. People don't. A lot of people don't direct it. Not when the devil, only 2%, 2% are the philosophers and thinkers of those who think for themselves and who have full possession of their own mind, you know, and I'm encouraging guys to have full possession of your own mind, direct it, you know, you got the music, I do love hip hop, but there's a lot of stuff on there that, that, you know, for me that I know, but it's still digging into your subconscious mind, you got to be careful what you listen to, you got to be careful who the people you surround yourself with, you got to be careful what you're watching, and plus, I watch a lot of anime, I mean, it's influencing stuff what I'm doing, but I'm taking all that and all the books that I'm reading and I'm going to apply it into what stuff that in the stories and stuff that I'm going to do, which is going to be pretty cool. I got I got some good, good, some amazing ideas, but the ideas are worthless unless I act on them and manifest it and, 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 and have all this, these thoughts and things in my head into reality, make it in physical reality. So go ahead and have this no defeat philosophy. You know, look, I was reading through that, the positive power, the power of the power of positive thinking. And, you know, there's just a new way, which is it's crazy to me how I'm reading that book. There's a lot of Napoleon Hill stuff like stuff in that book as well uh, with thinking go rich. But it applies it with Christianity, with the Bible. And, and I realized something reading that book. Like, I, I think I believe I said this before I'm on this on this live that. Whoever reads the, it, it could be any type of book. If you don't have a, um, uh, depending on where your attitude is at, if you don't have a good positive mental attitude of of whatever book that you're reading, and, and it could be thinking go rich, it could be anything, even a Bible. You're going to interpret things differently. You're not gonna you, you you're gonna interpret things like this is this is BS. This is full of shit. This doesn't believe because your mind is closed. 
The mind is closed. When you open the mind, this is when I first read Thinking All Rich. When I opened the mind and started reading the Bible, I started seeing the Bible in a different light. You know, and they're also not just the Bible, other religions, you know, um, um, Islam, Buddhism, you know, like like Buddhism. Well, I, I think I, I think I was at Bar, well, I was at Barnes and Nobles. They don't consider themselves a religion. They don't have anything with a God is more of it's more of enlightenment, you know, seeking enlightenment, peace, you know. So <laughs> have my own little thing. But literally, like you guys just be open minded, you know, I. So, uh, I won't say not too open minded, but have the mind where like, you know, when you go into something, having intentions that you want to improve in something it doesn't matter. The Bible, you can read the Bible and there's there's some there's some like powerful stuff in the Bible where you can take in and use it. And or you can think, rethink and go rich and go ahead and apply it into your life, you know, with those Bible or with those. So just believe like believe in no defeat. Like I'm gonna go ahead and end this. I'm probably gonna go on live in a little bit again. Believe in a no defeat that, uh, mentality. Have that attitude and believe that God has your back no matter what happens, no matter what happens. That's why I look I, me thinking about it, too, like throughout the histories, how you can see what Christianity doing, all that stuff, even with Islam and all that. Like they believe in their religion. They're even whatever, you know, whatever they believe. They believe in so much that they didn't believe in. De- they, they didn't believe in defeat because they believe God had their back because their faith or in their conscious mind was more stronger you can say that the individual do the other people, which I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just talking uh, with, with, about that, but it, it amazes me with that. And yeah, man, if you don't, if you don't control your subconscious mind, brainwash yourself. Don't have the media. Don't have anybody else. Certain friends. Oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. Um, how that's impossible and all this, you know, me dealing with my, I won't say dealing with me. I love my parents. You know, when I tell them about, you know, about with Thomas Edison or, or with that, you're not Thomas Edison. I know I'm not Thomas Edison, but the whole point it is, I do not, I do not believe in defeat and I'm going to go all in and what I'm doing and my plan B is my plan A and I'm going to burn my boats. Basically, what I'm saying and I leave no other option. I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to, I'm going to have, I'm going to put all my faith into this. You can say all my eggs into one basket, whatever it is you want to say, but I'm going to put my faith into this. Because I'm betting on myself. I believe in myself. I'm going to make this shit happen. All right? You don't have to do it. Some people don't want to uh, disagree with that. I mean, that's the attitude that I'm going to have. Imagine, 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 imagine you, had, uh, ma- imagine you cornered. You know, you're on this fight, this, this fight or flight mode, you can say, which... Today is not, I mean, we, everybody's probably in a flight or fight mode because how, how everything is nowadays. You got to change that. But the whole point it is, is that you're, you're back in the corner and you're leaving no options. You're going to leave this. Plan B is a distraction because the mind can only focus on one thing at a time, and that's energy. You're, you're spreading your energy all, all over the place. So let me go ahead and end this. And you guys have a wonderful day. I'm probably going to be back. Not probably. I am going to be back again doing another live, getting my, getting my, get my ugly mug, my face there, because, um, you know, I ended up, one of my reels got viral, and a lot of people complain about how I'm just sitting there and I had no value, somebody called me a narcissist, cool, man, hey, hey, thank you very much, thank you for your feedback, man, I appreciate it, and go out and do it, man, do, people gonna complain when you don't do something, people gonna complain when you do something, man, hey, People going to hate you. Not a lot of people going to like it. But anyways, let me end it. Po folks, it's not where we at. It's where we come from. Always, always create like a God because you are made in the image of God, an infinite, creative, potential being that can manifest and create anything in your reality. All right. Peace out, y'all.